An economic miracle. The war is over, and West Germany is experiencing an unprecedented boom. A new, strong economic power is rising from the rubble and ruin. After many long years of austerity, suddenly there is everything the heart desires. There is full employment, and the export industry is going swimmingly. The victorious allies are slowly restoring freedom to the country. Recently, they've even allowed us to purchase aircraft. All right, here we are right to it in the overview. Let's see what we've got going on in today's mission. Mission number five in Europe. I'm very excited. Finally going to be getting into some aircraft here. Since the last episode, all we did was like, as soon as we started the aircraft line, boom, it was like mission complete. So here we go. West Germany. In the year 1953, for years, the Allies have banned us from constructing and purchasing aircraft. Now, however, the memories of the war are fading and we're finally being treated like a respectable nation again. And like any respectable nation, Germany also needs an airline for quick and efficient passenger transport. We have the honorable task of building a network of scheduled flights and of ensuring that the world comes closer together. Let's get airborne. Five medals can be earned in this mission. Sweet! Let's see what these medals are. Put a plane in the air before 1955, so we've got two years to put a plane in the air. Uh, money gives you wings. Earn 50 million with your airline. Deliver the request goods. The requested goods to East Germany. Okay, so we've got a little truck transfer here. And land at least a thousand passengers in Cologne, which is actually uh, Köln, you know just different uh, so this is this is this okay uh, and then also own a fleet of at least 15 airplanes luckily besides the 1955 it doesn't look like we're gonna have a time limit so let's get started a successful airline needs airports planes staff and of course customers they don't just appear out of thin air but have to find their way to the airport first at the last meeting however the board implied that we should operate economically until the business becomes profitable Therefore, we have limited resources available to us for the construction of bus and truck stations for airport links. Additionally, it makes very little sense to build new airports while we have no trained personnel. So let's get down to action quickly and start the training. Alrighty. So as he said, we're going to have to get some people up to the airport here. So I'm going to say OK. Before taking off, we should find out how it all works. We need pilots and flight attendants and ground personnel. That's to say, people who know a thing or two about flying. This, After all, we here. want to be known for our first-class quality, and not for our mishaps. We have set up a training center at our home airport in Cologne, where our future employees will complete their training sessions over the coming months. All right, so if you guys haven't guessed it, what I'm doing while he's talking is going through, and I'm upgrading... Oh my goodness, I was just doing all that wrong. I need this guy. Oh. I'm upgrading the roads to add bus lanes, and I was accidentally adding tram tracks everywhere, so got to go back through and redo everything I already did. But this is going to be needed because we're going to be needing to bring workers and eventually passengers to this airport, and we're going to need some nice roads here. Or it's going to get out of hand. I really don't like whatever this is. But look at how expensive it would be to fix any of it. Ugh. Anyway. So we've got some things to work on. Let's see. Create a bus line between the airport and the residential areas. We can do that. Let's bring up our land usage. Ooh. We have a real nice... So we want to be on passengers. And I'm going to go with a tram... Station, just getting a large bus tram station here. And we're going to just put it directly across. Nothing special, nothing fancy. Just right across from the airport. And then as they said, we're going to put a stop. Just the stops. Bus stop, tram stop, boom, boom, boom. Right here. There we go. And because I'm ahead of the game, we're going to go ahead and put one here. We're going to go ahead and, let's say, put one over here, because we're going to want people to use this transportation. We're going to bring industry, uh, residential, residential, and then we'll do a good uh, commercial line right down the center. 
Sweet. So let's go ahead and get a depot going. Nothing too fancy. Because we're not going fancy this episode. I'm just going to throw it down at the end of this road. No, we're going to just put it right here. Boom. Let's see what we have. Choices, choices, choices. We have a 13 capacity rider here. 31 miles per hour. Real nice speed. So I think I'm going to just go with... Uh, let's buy two of those. Set line, new line. From the airport. Uh, to... This line over here. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so let's try to get some of these upgraded. Upgrade magic wand. Ooh, that's expensive. Oh, that's really expensive. Oh, that's even more expensive. So what I might do is add some forced stops here, like there. And then on the way back, you're going to go there. Uh, let's see, boom. Oh, he's not going to do a little magical turnaround here. That's... Hmm. There. There. All right. I'm rethinking it. We're rethinking it, because that's how we do. Let's go ahead and have him go th there. All right. And then we're going to have him go... Uh, to a waypoint uh, down here, or nah, we're gonna change it up. We're gonna actually even add a stop. Um, really, just the one? All right, let's get. Oh, look at that! Bus and truck stations built ten of ten. We have a uh, restriction here. Interesting. So we're not going to build that. We are going to build the waypoints. Right. I'll fix this line one again. All right, so you're going to go down there. And then you're going to go to there. Then you're going to go there. And then uh, you're going to go there. There you go. So my whole point is to keep them on the roads with the bus lines. I don't know. That's a lot. Um, but it'll do what it'll do. Uh, play. Because we're going to have to get these guys there. How many airports? Okay, we can build just one. We need to move 50 people. So I'm going to set line. New line. This guy's going to go from there to over there. Just to get that going. And same thing, we're going to have to add, let's see, let's add a stop here. And after he goes to number two, I want him to go up there. So he's going to stay on the bus lane, bus lane, bus lane. Nice. Get the upgrades without destroying a bunch of stuff. He's going to stay on that. And if you don't see what I'm talking about, it's that pink, pink area. So the roads are going to stay on the roads, the buses are going to stay on the bus line, for the most part. Cars will get in this lane if they need to turn, that's what's happening there. But we're really hoping that this is going to open up uh, where all our buses can go. So who's this guy for? Line 2? Chill out. Line 1? I want him to hang. Just for a little bit while this guy goes out. Just a little bit, just to spread out, spread it out, spread it out. Uh, and then I'm also going to buy one more for line one. Taking our time a little bit more this, uh, this episode. We do need to get the train personnel. Not train personnel. We need to train the personnel uh, for the airplanes. They're not going to be working on trains uh, so that's what's happening there. So we're just going to speed this up now. Watch these buses go. This guy can go ahead and go now. Uh, and then this guy can turn around. That should create some nice separation on line, line one. But look at this. It's so nice. They get a cruise right by. So I'm pretty sure... 
you're really going to want to get these nice roads upgraded here. So with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and go to normal pace and think ahead. And I know we're going to have to go to Hamburg. I know we're going to have to do some things over here. So let's keep early on. First thing we're going to do, we're just going to keep fixing all the roads. All as many as we can. Wow, really? That building is up there on that bridge, huh? It's not on the bridge. That used to be a problem that they fixed with the updates. That's fine. I might just guide everything with... with waypoints. I see a big question mark over the town. We're going to be clicking on that in a second as well. Man, so many... So many spots. This town is really... In need of some road work. Oh my goodness. Almost everywhere destroys all the buildings. Horrible. Ooh, four buildings. So, anyway, what I want to do, I'm going to say bus lane. Let's see if we can pull this off <clears throat> from here, maybe. From here. No, it's going to take out two buildings, so we might as well take out this one. I have a nice little uh, expansion going this way. All the way up to that point, alright? And just for funds, I am going to upgrade that portion of it. Maybe even that. And the whole thing. Sweet. What's the question mark got to say? Let's get to it. While everything's running smoothly in the west, the poor guys in the east are starving. Now a wall's even being built so that their people don't flee in droves. An excellent opportunity to do business. We could allow the east Germans to share in our prosperity. For cash, of course. But we shouldn't get caught. The socialists haven't got much of a sense of humor. With every cargo that arrives in the east, the risk of being caught increases. If we deliver at too short intervals, probably get busted. All right. So we need to be moving some secretive goods here. Can this... Oh, it can. I'm going to connect that there because that's actually going to connect to these goods and create a nice little quick escape. But we're going to have to keep an eye on... I don't know, the police or something? We shall see. Let's go ahead and get the fast movers. I'm going to buy one. New line. He's going to go from there. And he's going to go there. I'm probably just going to run two trucks on this line. I mean, you guys let me know what you do. But I think this is going to be quite nice. It is July 1953. We've got to keep an eye on that 1955 roll. See, and this is why I did upgrade this, because I had a feeling all the cars would want to start rolling this way. And, uh, yep, we're going to buy another one of these. Oh, didn't realize that would actually close that. See, did he fill up? No, he didn't. Not yet. It is producing, so I'm going to hope to see some, uh, some goods lining up here soon enough. Current risk is low, so we do have a risk here. We need to move 100 of the goods. And that is definitely a depot, so that should be fine and dandy. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm going to speed it up. I'm going to bring another one of these guys in. I'm going to set him onto line three as well. And then hopefully these guys are spread out far enough. We'll keep an eye on that current risk. You guys help me as well. Scream and yell in the comments if you see that thing go up. Uh, 27.9 million in the bank. I can, I can, I can work with that. This town is a mess. Anyway, we don't have any more um, available bus stations, so we're not going to preemptively do any of that here. As you can see, we do have the goods awaiting, so you can go turn right yourself around and go pick some up. Secret goods, don't worry about it. Nothing to see here.
Delivering goods, current risk low. Cool. How are we doing back in cold? All right, this is what we want to see. Some folks are waiting. How many? 10. 11. All of them going to get picked up by this bus, right? Nice, we had room. We had room. Let me see where these buses are. One there, one there, one up there. I am going to go ahead and throw one more down on line one. 23 out of 50 personnel. That's nice. We know we have at least 13 more on the way. Where is he at? Oh, there he is on line one. That guy's got nothing on his line one. This guy's got nine coming back from work, from training. And line three also has some... Let's say line three. Line two, even. And I'm keeping them called lines. I'm not even... Not even going to mess with that. So let's see about this road, this road, that road, and building that. You guys like that? Hmm? That might be a nice... That might be a nice little cut back to keep going up and then over, and instead of dealing with this traffic back this way... If I was to grab line one and say, stop it. But then I am going to need to add a waypoint there. And I'm going to say, you need to go all the way up here. There we go. Now that's clean looking. We did get ourselves a new bus. The Mercedes-Benz. The O series. We don't need to worry about none of that. This guy right here with the nine folks coming on in. Almost enough to finish us off. So we're going to go full speed ahead. Where is he? Where is he? Here it is. This is the winner. The golden bus. You might say 45 out of 50. That's going to bump us on up, and I'm hoping... I'm hoping that's going to open up our airport here. 1954, we've got to get something going. Very this good. year. Our staff are sufficiently trained. They can get the Iron Bird up into the sky and back down again safely. And the barf bags are ready, too. It's time for takeoff. At long last, we can set up the first airline. The construction project for the Ooh. new airport has been approved. And now we finally have more resources available for better connections to the city. Hmm. So we can do more airports. Hmm. I'm wondering which way we should go, though. Should we go Hamburg? Or should we go Stuttgart? I already put some stuff over here. We're already moving some goods. So now I'm just trying to figure out where to best place this. Sorry, guys. You're really in the way. Ooh. That oddly worked. 1.79 and what I wanted to make sure I see here is let's get this going this way nope there we go all right so that's going to connect that way this guy might auto connect here someday you think? There's no way doing that without blowing that up. I'm going to let it maybe auto-connect. Let's see what we got here for upgrades. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. And that one too? Yeah. Nice. All right, because that's going to allow us to run... Ugh. This guy's going to kill me right here. But it's getting upgraded. Up, up, around... Over, back, 2.8 something million. No. Uh, yeah, that's cheap. That's not. Ooh, that's actually going to work right now. So we have this unfortunate, really busy road right here that's just going to really probably cause some drama, but we'll see. 
But my goal here is have this directly connected into the industrial uh, complex here. We're still low on current risk. So let's go ahead and get moving. Make a profit with airplanes. So I think if you go to the metals, that was one of our things. Earn 50 million with the airline. We're going to have to keep running for a long time because that's like earning profits, I do believe. Uh, we'll see how that goes. And we're still moving the goods. Anyway, we've got this going now. So it's time. It is time. How do we want to start this out? Do we want to be able to bring a lot more and lose some money and go fast? Hmm. Do we want to kind of slowly build it up with some of these guys? Look at the speed difference, though. These guys aren't too different in speed, but the cost doubles to bring about double the amount of people. And then this one gets way double the price. Double the running costs for just a little bit more speed. So I think we're going to go with a Douglas DC-4 here. Put the first plane in the air before 1955. I wouldn't call it in the hangar in the air, but I'll go with it. New line from there to over there. And at the exact same time, we're going to buy one of these over here. And we're going to add them to that same very line. So we have a plane... Leaving the launch pad. And we're going to take a nice happy look up here. All up in here and watch this DC fly for us. Alright, so... We have our... Hopefully, pilots trained up. Fair enough. This is our first flight, so we shall see. We do have connections from downtown to here, so hopefully that will start getting people... Uh, moving on in. Uh, if you noticed, we have availability of a lot more bus stops. So I know I wanted to watch that plane, but I really want to get this going. So let's get this guy in here. Come on, connect. Nice. All right, so I want to go with the larger one. Now. Very cool. So let's see, we want this guy to connect into the commercial zone. We know he's going to connect into this residential zone. I uh, wouldn't mind if he connected up to this residential zone. Something right here would be fantastic up high. And then having something run in this industrial area as well would be nice. Okay. Let's get... We're going to try something a little bit different over here. Set line. You. Set line. New line. There. To there. To there. To there. To there. Coup. Uh, and that's it for you. Line 10. New line. From there, to there, to there, to there, to there. Nice little backwards track, right? And the last guy who I just unclicked on, you, my friend, don't think I forgot about you. New line from right there, right downtown, nice and easy. Uh, you have some bad roads that you're going to be going on. Let's see if I can, ah, look at that, that road did auto-connect already. I'm very excited about that. And we've been able to upgrade it. Where else do we have lines going? Up here. Up this way. Oh, they're cutting through here. So we're going to have to add waypoints on this corner. Okay. Do -do -do. Let's see, line five. Five. We need to do it between four and five. Add. That guy. Done. Line six, we need to do it the other way around between two and three. Add that one. Oh, I'm so happy they added vehicle waypoints. And now, are you guys seriously telling me there's no way to upgrade this? Alright, what if I... 
really cause problems here. Well, that's not going to work, so we're going to do that. Cool. How's that look? Nice, nice. Nice. All upgraded roads. Good, good, good. They cut out wide. All good. All right. I think we did it. And we still have four more stops to be able to add. We have complete coverage here. And line five and six is going to get one more of each. So you go to line five. You go to line six. Oops. Sorry. Then you go to line five, since I sent the other one to line six. Right? Six, five. So we've got two running on that. So what's the time on that? Visible only. Uh, five and six... Yes, that's pretty good. Just over two minutes. Seven minutes on the plane. I think adding a third would be a little bit too much. But remember, we're going to have to also transport a thousand people. That's going to take some time. I will be doing some warping ahead for that. Do not worry. Because uh, right now, I'm excited that 1955, that was it as far as uh, timelines as far as being rushed, because that's the thing with the missions, is usually it's a little bit more rushed compared to free play and all that. But we have all the time in the world to get 50 million. We have all the time in the world to get a thousand passengers here. Uh, we just have to be careful with the delivering of the aid. 50 million, like I said, that's going to come. Heavy traffic, uh, 15 airplanes, that's easy. Uh, winning the mission is going to be the challenge. We're going to have to provide a uh, high level of Transportation between the cities. It took me a while. Easy getting five gold. Hard to beat the mission, oddly, if that makes any type of sense. Uh, but all right, what do we have going on here? I do see people waiting. Line six is happy. Line five is happy. Uh, are you a line five bus, sir? You're line six as well as this guy. So I kind of want him to hold up a bit. Line 5, where are you going, sir? Ooh! Line 5 also is going to need... Oops. Nope. Uh, some stops here. Some waypoints. So I'm going to bring up line 5, line 6. Okay. So let's see, between 1 and 2... On line five. And between after six. So you're going to go there. Boom. Wow. Smash. You pick up anybody? No, you didn't. Horrible job. Uh, we're on low current risk for the trucks. We're picking up right. Oh, we just went to medium. We just went to medium risk. Uh y'all doing over here? I'm going to go ahead and send this guy back to sell. Uh, I don't want him coming and picking up right away. We're at 66 out of 100. Like I said, there's no rush, so I'd rather play it safe. I think I'm okay at medium, but again, I would rather play it safe. Uh, so something I'm thinking about, we're not tapping into these wonderful folks here. Let me see something. So you notice, I'm just trying to see if the zone is bigger with these compared to these. I know I've played the game long enough, I should know that. And the answer looked like a no. Uh, this guy's going to basically cover the whole town. And then I'm going to upgrade the roads. Oh, yes, thank you very much. There we go. Uh, because we can... And they're not complaining about it. We're going to upgrade, like, all the roads. Sweet! And look at that guy. He covers, like, the whole town. How sweet is that? I say pretty sweet. So, there 
Ooh. To there. I wonder if I should even have a road going back th this way. Hmm. Here's my thinking. Let's set a line, new line, from there all the way up to there. So we're going to connect Schwerin, Schwerin over to the airport. Hopefully get a few more people transporting over to uh, Koln. That'll be good. Guys, airplanes, what's your troubles? Uh, I think we're going to need to bump up the speed. But what I don't want are these planes starting to cause drama with each other uh, and all that happening. So anyway, what we're going to be slowly doing, the name of this game is continue to add buses over time. To our lines here. Uh, I don't think I'm going to upgrade these buses for a while to the Mercedes, but line five and six I am going to be doing that. So let's go ahead and find this guy. Line five, line six. So just slowly feeding in more and more buses. Oh my goodness, it's getting a little crazy at the depot. This is a beautiful view with the plane coming on in, though. I'm just going to let this one sit. Take a drink of my Mac Warrior 5 Merc water bottle. And those fantastic buses keep on coming in. There it is. Er, er. Looking good. Going to pick up their first set of passengers. Three people waiting. We have moved nobody as of yet. We're still medium on the current risk. I am watching that. Uh, nice thing is, is this is going to be, hopefully, some free money. After we get going here. Hmm. Yeah, this is okay. Not having any traffic problems. Wow, okay. I see that guy's not built on the bridge. He's actually built on this road. Which I was just going to delete, but no need to do. Now, what I'm happy to see is that we have folks up here at Schwerin waiting. Our current profit is getting crushed. We will slowly be working to turn a profit on the planes. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, there we go. Now we're talking. We're going to actually fill up over here. So what I'm going to do is go full speed. I'm going to buy another one. As you can see, our current profit drops another huge chunk once that happens. I'm going to let these guys take off. All right, I'm going to let them both get a little bit more airborne. And then we're going to set that guy to line four. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to buy another one of those. We're going to set him to line four. Maybe too many planes. But what I'm hoping is that they're... Far enough apart from each other. See, they're not right now. What's going to happen here? You'll see it. He's going to... Oh, look! See, this guy had to do a, a circle. He couldn't land. Because this guy was taken off. I was actually thinking this guy was going to have to wait. But that... That works out alright. Nope. Oh, my phone was buzzing, but it's just a junk call. Those robo-calls. Anyway... Now we're rocking, though. My point is that it's going to start helping us move a lot more people. Man, that's a lot of people waiting. We went from, like, nobody to everybody wants to ride.
We're almost done with the delivering of the goods. I'm going to set both of these to six. Let's see how that works. Line five's probably got a... Line seven's got a bunch of people waiting as well. Line 7 is the straight downtown, right? Yes, it is. <clears throat> Which is almost okay, because this guy's going to come over, and he's going to grab 15 people straight up, one shot. Boom, watch, those guys are all going to go away. Nicely done. Line 8 is going to get a little crazy, as expected. But we're picking those folks up. And we have a medium risk, but we have to deliver one more good. One more, and he's off with 11 right there. So I think I think we're safe. I don't think the police are after us. We're going to not build walls. It's not what, how we roll. So here we go. Let's watch this guy roll it on in for the final, for the final go here. So excited to be back. Playing some more Europe campaign. Got the recordings all worked out. There we go. Another gold medal. I don't think anybody's going to be after us anymore, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and just buy a bunch of these guys and go ahead and say work that line three. Right? Isn't that what this is? Line three? Yes, it is. Look at all these guys. Goods, goods, goods. Everybody's got them goods. I think I'm going to need some line fivers, but that's okay. We'll see. There we go. Knock these goods out. What is our potential is 87, so it's going to just keep building that. See, now we our, our rotation got all messed up here. What I'm going to do is wait for the larger planes to become available, because you don't want to over pile up here. Um, also, we have a trick here. Let's see, what do we have? One, two, three, four planes. We need to own a fleet of at least 15 airplanes. Uh, we'll get there. And we need to move passengers. We'll get there. And then we need to earn money. We'll get there. Because look at now, we're making two point something million. Uh, so, money's money's Okay. What I would recommend for buying the planes is I'm just going to buy a bunch in the hangar, probably these little guys, and then just uh, resell them. Because if we do that right away, the price will be all right. How is... I bet it's going to be crazy. Yep. The airport is crazy. And to beat the game, this, all these people waiting, that only, it only hurts us. But what I like is these planes are completely full every time. Making a good amount of money. And if we were to have, say, the Super Constellation, I think they would just be getting themselves in each other's way too much. Even though they're carrying a few more passengers. And I'm just not sold that that's worth it. I can build two more bus stops. Are we covering everywhere in the town currently. Yes. Actually, I don't think we're covering... Oh, yep, we're covering everybody. This corner... You know what? This corner could use some love. And when I do that doubling, that counts as two. So some places I've doubled, like line one. Line one I need to fix. We need to buy... All these guys, and we need a set line, new line, that's going to go from there, but it's going to go, ooh, I need that blue or something visible. It's going to go this way, this way, this way, oh, that way, that way, this way, it's just the opposite, that's all. I like it. Boom. Now we need to find a line one, though. Line one needs to add... 
after four, instead of going to that waypoint, you just, you go there. Ta-da! All done. I can even delete the waypoints. That's all I want to delete, actually. There you go. Bus is going both ways. We're doing good with uh, population mix. But what we're going to have to be working on is this. Percentage of residents using at least one of your lines. Only 1%? That seems not true. But it's probably for this month because everyone's hanging out at the airport. But now, this mission's about letting time go. Uh, we're, we will earn our two million. I'm not going to do anything special. I can't build any more airports, so I can't expand out. Uh, that will be after we make some more money, is what I'm hoping. And... And... We have more planes on the way in. This is nice. This is nice. I could maybe add... Another to speed things up. But again, we're, we're kind of... Constantly... Bombarded. I'm gonna buy one more here. Because this timing seems okay. But this plane's gonna be moving, right? See, if I bought one here, look, I've already got one waiting up. And I already have another guy. Coming on in. It's just so fast in between. And that guy's already leaving. There's already one guy there. And then there's this guy already coming in for a landing. So I think we've about tipped our scales on how many planes we want to run on this line. Because if they're just spending their time circling, they're not spending time making profits. And then you can very easily make this... Even though they're all full, you can make it start costing too much money. I know. We got a new train caboose. Look at that nice, clear. One thing that's disappointing in this one is you can add uh, terminals, but there is no adding the bigger airport with uh, multiple uh, runways, because that would help. So we're just going to kind of see how things go. I mean, let's just do this real quick. There we go. There's our fleet of 15. Let me pause this. Let me get this over here. And then we're just going to go sell, 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 sell. But that never happened. But that's the quickest, easiest gold in the game. So now we're going to go back to full speed. See? Look at that. Now we... Oh, that's not metals. That is... We're already at three out of five. Money gives you wings. Transport passengers. It's 1958. There are no more speed goals. So all I'm going to be doing from now on... Letting the game play. Uh, I might be upgrading some buses. I doubt it. Uh, and then, like, over here, I'm going to be focusing on trying to uh, keep up with this. So, line 8. Which is our city-to-city -city line. We knew that one was going to get a little crazy. I'm going to go ahead and just dump a bunch on that. Because look at it. It's going a little crazy. But that's fine. That's good. That's good stuff. How are these towns doing? See, a lot more people using the lines over here. So I will bring you folks back in when I am almost at making a profit. I don't actually expect it to be too long uh, for how we're running now. I'm worried about this. Look, we've got all these planes coming in. Okay, good. That guy was leaving. We weren't moving passengers fast enough here. These guys line fives or line sixes? See, line six is still got me worried. Buses are rolling. Like, this guy's already got 5 of 15. See, now he's full up and not everybody can get a ride. Okay. This guy is going to have a full plane full. So I'm, I'm not as worried as I thought I would be. So anyway, I will bring you folks back once we are about to either make a profit or we randomly hit moving a 1,000 folks. I might accidentally miss that one in the recording. Uh, but as you can tell... Just do nothing except let folks keep being transported here. They're being transported to Cologne. Keep an eye on that because this does say land a thousand passengers in Cologne. Just a 
translation thing there. So I'll see you guys on the flip side. Hold on. Super tight. Alrighty, alrighty. We are back. Money is rolling on in. It's only 1961. Not too much time has gone by. Uh, but here's what I wanted to talk about. The charts are where you're going to find what's happened in this uh, episode. Uh, so what you're going to want to look at here is in the Coln Airport, the unloaded amount, and that's where we're going to want to hit a thousand on the red bars over time. Uh, there's no rush on the time, but it's just we need to transport at least a hundred or a hundred, a thousand passengers. So there's that. Now, as far as the airline making money, <clears throat> I have gone up to eight planes, which has been a little shady as far as uh, let's look at the charts on line four. As far as profits. Now, last year was a good year, but I do have a little bit of congestion. I was enjoying six planes, but we just had so many people at the airplanes, at the airports. Problem is, is we did earn a new plane, but it doesn't hold more. It actually holds less than the Lockheed, and it's just faster. So that would only cause us more traffic problems to move less people. Uh, but I'm hoping to hit this uh, profit of two million. And we'll see how it goes from there. All right, that money's still rocking on in, though. Problem is, is those, uh, the costs keep sneaking up. Anytime I keep thinking we're almost there. But we were just at negative three million, so I'm very confident that we're going to be rolling in the money. I'm not going to buy a new plane. If I bought a new plane right now, it would ruin everything. Now, these profits, I think, would count if I sold a plane. So there is that to think about. Uh, and then we're going to have to just keep on expanding... And then the focus is 100% on how do we beat the mission. Uh, and we're going to try to beat the mission properly, which is place airports perfectly and kind of work out like that. Um, there's a sneaky way, because this is the mission that kept me from continuing for a while. <clears throat> but I can tell you the from early success that we'll success. get it done. Time to expand. The modern person is finally at home throughout the entire world, or at least throughout the entire country. The board has approved additional airports and nice. bus stations. We should connect and link all the remaining cities. If we want to profit from the economic recovery, we should be everywhere at once. Jet set is what they call it nowadays, and we're making it possible. Cool. Well, jet set, that's what we're going to do. We're going to get uh, all the cities uh, connected, but then it's, it's a very bizarre calculation that it wants. It wants you to increase the willingness to travel uh, by 10%. By at least 10% on all of these. And I have a real hard time with it. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Let's let's do this together. Now, if we get this, the mission's over. So I actually don't want it to, like, score too soon. Actually, because of that, I think of this now. You want to be careful. I've never had to deal with this problem. I'm going to go ahead and figure out how to place my airport here um yeah what i'm trying to do is connect these all according to, will you stop building that road buddy uh connect these to different zones in the different towns and hoping that that would help provide a nice setup can i do this without oh look at that that's really expensive Or do we just go here? No, it's not even doesn't even help that much. Let's connect it. Boom. And we're gonna let it run. I'm not gonna connect too much of this. Look at all the extra bus stops we get. So while we let it run, we're working on getting a thousand people. We're working on fifty million. We're working on all these things. We're going to have this go both ways. So let's double trouble the stops. Should have just did this first round. Right round. There we go. And if you guys have watched this episode at all, you know what I'm going to do next, which is upgrade all the roads. With the buses. To really get some solid... Transportation going throughout the entire town of Stuttgart. And for funsies, we're going to add a nice big tram station right there. 
And we're gonna get this rolling. We're gonna get this rolling. And the thing is, is we don't really want to promote intercity travel. So what I've just built is very opposite of my idea. What I was thinking is have a single bus route to each zone. So that could be a thing. But right now I just want to get uh I just want to get stuff moving while we work towards our thousand. Which if we check, let's check. We've got to be getting close, right? Charts. We've got about one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we still got a few hundred to go. But we're doing fine. The airline has been making a good profit for a while. We could go look at those charts. And look at finances, actually. Not charts, but finances. And we can look at this. The income is up there. So we just need to earn $50 million off of this uh, airline. Boom. There you go. Big time naming right there. And uh, once we hit that, we'll get a gold. <clears throat> so I don't really want to connect Stuttgart in case we accidentally hit 10%, 10%, 10%, and, like, win the mission. Uh, that would be weird. What's this guy doing? He's probably crying for more things on line 8. He is. Alright, I can do that. I did buy a few too many road trucks. That was one of the things I did when I advanced forward right quick. Uh, we are now running... Oh! What is that? Seven? Six? Six even? And let's see. If they're running not full, which they are... I'm going to go ahead and just sell one more. Boom. So that should clean that profit up. And again, yeah, see, now we have some airline traffic. This guy I'm going to have hold back a little bit longer. We do have someone flying in, though. Dang. There's no way to really spread this out. To the degree that I would like. All right, I'm going to go ahead and have him roll up. This guy's going to wait. <clears throat> problem is, he's probably going to wait for both of these, and then this is how this builds up. And if I set a stop to this guy, I think he might just fly to the other airport entirely, which... We don't want any of those things. So again, we're lucky that we don't have a time restriction this episode. And, uh, I mean, the tip, what I'm going to say is when you're struggling to get these percentages to beat the mission, you can just spend all the money that we're making and, like, destroy districts. So, like, they're forced to go take the plane to go, like, work somewhere else. So we could say, like, destroy all the industry here and work on destroying a lot of the commercial here. Uh, that kind of stuff. And it'll help promote... Uh, the growth in uh, the other cities and the willingness to travel because kind of they have to. If they got to shop somewhere else, they've got to shop somewhere else. So that's why this is strange because if I connect these loops here, I'm providing good transportation for the residents to go work here. But what we really want is willingness to travel in another city. So ugh, it's, it's a challenge, even Colne right now. Because I have such good bus lines and everything set up in the town, I think that's counterproductive to the increased willingness to travel. Those are my thoughts. Um, so my my other way to try to fix that was going to be doing, we'll have a line to here, we'll have a line to here, and we'll have a line to here. No internal city lines. But when the transportation was so good, uh, which was one of my tests, was that even though I had separate lines, they would then go to the, from residential, transfer here, onto the industrial to go over here. They're not actually taking the plane. They would actually use my bus here as a transfer depot for the inner city. So I still couldn't get around it, uh, is my points there. So we might get a little cheaty. But we shall see. Charts again? How are we doing? One, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight. Probably 200 more-ish. And look at all these planes. These guys are only carrying 15 each. So, I mean, you, there, there's time and math and, and all that. And these guys are really clogging up the, the airways here. 
but if I added more, the profits would drop. I still think I have about one too many planes, but I want to get this going. Because uh, I was averaging, I think, a little bit over four million. I'm curious of what you guys did as far as the planes. Please let me know what planes, how many. Um, it's not just for me, all the other people who were trying to do these missions. I'm sure everyone's kind of curious about how everyone does these missions, you know, in their own way. There's definitely some things you have to do to get all the golds. But I like to see that there is still a variety. Did this production go up? Look at that potential. It was 80-something, now it's 126, so I do have an abundance of goods here. I'm not going to overly mess with that, but good to know. So here's here's what's important. We know we already have 100 people just waiting. Look at that. That's awesomeness. Ooh. Oh. Nothing we want. We couldn't build a train if we wanted to. It's grayed out. Let's see 29 million. I don't want to start demolishing downtowns or anything like that. Like Hamburg, everyone's really happy to go work somewhere else, and that's what it always seems to be. Like, one city, very willing to travel. The others, not so much. So let me try... Let's try some things here, while we're just playing around, right? Let's go with our buses. Uh, line one. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, line one. I want you to remove Alexander Road. And I want you to move Waypoint 3. That line 1 is... Uh, Coln... Whoa. Uh, Coln... Res. Okay. Uh, next line. Line 2 is uh, industrial. And I want to throw... Oh, two more buses on line two. So line two is Colm Industrial. My caps are all throwing me off. And line nine... Line nine... Uh, we're going to have just do... Uh, number five, and that's it. So, Alexander Road. Uh, and that is Colne Commercial. So, what I'm trying to do here is kind of even out this whole thing. Anyone who's got a zero, you got zero on you. I'm sending you one, huh? All right. <clears throat> that should separate it out, and we'll see how increased uh, willingness to travel goes here. Uh, because now they're not doing inner city travel. That's the hopes. Anyway, how are we doing here? Charts. What we're also hoping is when we open the airport at Stuttgart, that folks from Köln will want to go there to go shopping or something like that. You know, we'll try to figure out something of that nature. It's now 1965. I'm curious when you guys hit a thousand. I'd, I'd, I'd like dates. Dates. <laughs> and when did you hit 50 million? Uh, for how we're rolling, I think we're going to get it quite soon. Another tram. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine-ish. Yeah, we're there. We're, we're close. Could be this plane right here. You could have, you know, frequent flyer 1,000. No, he didn't. What are we going to give away to that number 1,000? Free rides for life? I don't know. We got plenty of people waiting, though. We know that's not a problem. Yeah, see, there's absolutely no reason to add another plane because it's not going to speed up anything anymore. This guy's way too close to this guy. See, and if I hit stop, they get all weird. You can't stop a plane, right? You know, it's going to do a weird loop. 
kind of wanted this guy to do a loop, but no, look at that. He's going like full speed. Magic speed power. And he's going back to the other place now, so... It's all wacky. Colin is getting crushed with our bus change, so I don't know if that was helpful. Or Hamburg, it's got the circle system going, and it's working fine. So we shall see how this goes. I don't want to necessarily leave you guys, because as soon as I do that, we're going to get the achievements, and I want to get the achievements together. So we can do a little off-track off uh, things here. Let's kind of check it out downtown, see how things are going. The restaurant's looking mighty fine. And it's 1080p goodness. I must say that... Uh, you know, I've seen that plane take off in the background. I think the bus lanes definitely were game-changer. There is transporting, <clears throat> excuse me, a thousand people and uh, apparently a little bit of a cold to Cologne. There we go. Now we just need to make 50 million. 50 million. I almost don't want to spend money uh, on the new airline yet until we get that 50 million. And how I want to check that against airline charts. Nope, finances. Income. So let's see, if this is 260, this is still on like 4, 8, 12, we need 50, we need 50 million. I'm thinking it's not going to happen until like 1970 or something, and this just got way out of control. You're going to sell, because I'm not worried about transporting so many folks anymore. I'm worried about a clean, profitable airline. So, like, this guy needs to just chill. This guy. Can you... Can I turn you around? No. So I'm just letting these guys chill for a bit. Now you can go. Same with you. You're gonna chill. If I said reverse, and I said go, what are you going to do? Nope, you're still going to go west. That's cool. But you can see we had a huge drop-off of people wanting to run these lines. So it could have been the whole change in the bus routes. They all... They didn't like the changes. But that's okay. Boy, we got 40 million. How's that airline doing now? It's not doing too well. But we're down to the six that I like. My concern is that we were uh, we were definitely trying to move way more people. We've got planes running with less than ideal numbers, so that's always a problem. Uh, that kills our profits, so... Hopefully, things are going to calm down a bit. And everyone's going to be full, right? You're full? 15 of 15, you got 15 more waiting, we got buses on the roll. I would say... What do you guys think about, uh... This guy up here. If we go... I'm gonna go with the circle route here. Set line, new line, we're gonna go here... Here, 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 here. Okay. And then we're going to buy four more. Could have been five. I don't know. And we're going to go the opposite direction. There, 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 there. Terrible colored lines. I don't like that they're trying to cut through this way. But I'm just going to waste the money compared to offshooting. That's what I should do is waypoints and move them, as you saw earlier, but... We don't have time for none of that madness. Increase willingness to travel. Profits from our airlines. I just have this extreme fear that if I connect these two cities that all of a sudden I'll have really good luck 
I'll have really good increased willingness to travel, and then I wouldn't get this medal. And like I said, there's no rush on time. So I'm going to let the game run. I know I'm making money. We will earn our 50 million. Uh, it's just a matter of when. So I will bring you guys right back as soon as that happens. We do have a Boeing 737. Hold on. As soon as I wanted to take you guys away. Oh, it's way too fast. This would be, 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 maybe for something like here. Going way full across the map up here. But again, I need to get traveled between these two cities. So let's, I've got an idea. Let's also, never mind, I'm not, you guys are going nowhere. We're going to build an airport on the other side of town. Little, little competition going here. Never hurt nobody. 1.3 million, that's a great price for an airport. And we're going to get one of these going, but for peoples, not freights. Boom. And at this one, we're going to do a little bit of the same. We're going to go different kind of road vehicle, set line, new line. You're going to go from there uh, to there to there. Okay. And then, you, oh, you guys and your colors. All right. Buy more. I'm going to buy one. You're going to go new line from there to there. And then maybe I'll do one that goes up that way. But, mm, right now, no. I just realized that, yeah. And we could build one more airport if we would like. Uh, but I would not like to. I would like to see how my airline finances are doing. And let's really look at it. We've been running for quite a few years. Let's just go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10... 12, 14, 16, 18, 22, we're about half, a little bit more than halfway there, I think. Uh, for getting that million, 50 million. Maybe we could have run, no, I don't, I, those smaller planes would have had even more traffic problems. So I'm pretty happy with how these planes are handling the workload. I'm curious what you guys are getting for profits on, uh, your airplane lines, and uh, I'm sure everyone would appreciate the Tipolas. I could make some more money off of this guy now. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? Lines, trucks, trains, and automobiles. Trucks. Line 3, replacement all vehicles with the man. On, replace now, yes. Call that fantastic. Getting the man working. Instead of having the man working, making you work. Make the man work. All right. I'm happy. I'm ha really happy with these numbers. Look at that. We've been making profits forever. Profits for life. That's how we roll. It's a long time with no plane here. I'm not going to do it. I want to buy a plane, but I'm not going to do it. I think they're probably just jammed up over here. Yeah. Spread it out, boys. Spread it out. I'm going to make this guy get hung up by that guy. If not, I think he would run out to that runway and get a jump start. So I'm going to unleash him now. Very cool. I don't mind if these guys are kind of close together. It just lets that guy kind of get some space. But that's how that's happening. They seem spread out, and then they get held up, and it just creates all kinds of free airspace. Coln is now up to 9%. Now do you see my fear? If I would have upped Stuttgart, we could have accidentally increased travel in both of these places and just ruined our medals. We're in it for the medals. We're in it for the medals. So now, I for sure Z's means it when I say I'm going to bring you back when we uh, earn that profit. And I will let you know uh, when we hit it. Because there's our income. I mean, we could look at these numbers, but I think it's I think it's this total earned 
has to equal 50 million, not at once, but over time our airline has to earn that much. So uh, if every year we're making two to three, you know, there's math there. There's years. So I expect a few more. And I'll bring you back as soon as we hit it. See you soon. And there we have it. Earned 50 million with your airline October 1970. I'll take it. That was actually earlier than I thought. Just sat back down, hit that fast forward button. Booyah. If you look at it, that's five medals. But this is one's a little different. It's not like you get five medals and you win. You got to actually still win the game. So what we're going to do... We're going to get some things going here. Let's say we get... You know what? I really like our DC-4s. We're going to... We're going to buy a bunch of these. And we're going to set... Line. New line from here to the new airport. Over there. Right? So we're going to do that. And this guy's going to be called Line 10. Good to know. Good to note, good to note, good to note. Now we're going to go full speed. And I'm just slowly adding these guys into this line here. Kind of spreading them out more of a natural feel. We're also going to go to line 10. Maybe pushed him out a little too soon. As soon as that guy gets off the ground, we're going to send him out. There we go. Bought one too many, actually. Because now it's just about moving people from one town to the other. Increasing that willingness. And that's our goal. That's it. That's it. Plain and simple. You're going to also go to line 10. Good enough. This is our last guy. He's hiding up here. Is our other guy already made it yet? No. No. I'm wondering how the, these guys are going to be crossing some paths here. That's going to be interesting. We'll see how that goes. And we can throw down one more airport. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get some real things going here. Before we go making things way too crazy. But this is where I need to get the willingness to travel up. So I'm actually going to change my mind and go, I'm going to try to put... One of these guys, like, maybe in town over here. This one's crazy. I love it. All right, so this guy, unplanned entirely. We're going to see what we can get from this guy going to... the other airport. <laughs> Okay, these guys are all going to go set line, new line from here to there. What this is going to make me do is click on this guy and say, you're getting sold because I need some less air traffic here. Uh, I'm also going to apply a second terminal for line 11. So now we're at 7%. We're moving on up. 2% over here. So it's this whole kind of game to where the next thing is is like how do we want to how do we want to mess with the game? I don't like these guys. Over here. I don't like any of that. If you're not like this is the residential zone, so if you're not that get out. I'm not being crazy and overly like cheating out the system. But I'm getting there. <laughs> I don't I don't like seeing what we had expanding out this way. Anyway, I'm not going to fix the terrain. Uh, with that in mind, we've got all the residential here. Six and six, Koln and Stuttgart. Let's go check the buildings of Koln. How can we... Uh, what can we do over here? Uh, same thing, except... Maybe we want to force... Still worried people are tra inner city traveling here. I think I want to get rid of the industrial line completely. So let's go this way. Trucks and buses. In 
industrial. The only line making money. You guys, I don't like making money. You guys can go away. Because I want to destroy this area. That's a lot of money. Uh, and just kind of rebuild the districts a little bit. And kind of work on the town here to where more and more people are going to have to travel. Look, we're up to 13% now on Colne, so now it's just Stuttgart. And I'm not being, like, crazy crazy. I'm being pretty crazy. But, like, here... We gotta get these numbers up. We gotta get these numbers up. Don't mess with me. Don't mess with me. It uh, had a little hang up there. I think I was messing with its uh, core systems here. But Stuttgart, come on now. Come on, brother. What are we gonna do with you? Uh, I'm thinking. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. They're downtown area. I'm just not digging it. It's just too, too, uh, too blue. It's all too blue. Right. Uh, I just want to do downtown road. Nothing, nothing to say here. Nothing shady about trying to make it so nothing else can build here. I say no to your commercial buildings. Something like that. We got the money. 5% willingness to travel. I like it. Got the planes a-going. This guy needs... Really, are you waiting for someone to land? You guys are that... That close together, huh? So you should just chill. We're gonna keep an eye on you. Ooh, 8%. There's we did it. In the skies over Haha. -ha. Travel by air as long as they can afford it. And thanks to our excellent economic situation, that's a lot of people. There you go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we didn't even have to get too crazy with the whole work in the system. I was just kind of reworking our towns, which I like to do in my free plays anyway. So, moving right along, all the medals are done. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this helps you if you guys are struggling. But again, make sure to comment below with your tips and tricks. Everyone would love it. And uh, I know I do. And I'll uh, catch you next time on Monty Plays Games. Catch you on Twitter at Monty Games. Make sure to leave those comments. And I'll make sure to send you a quick response. Have a wonderful one, everybody. Take care. Peace.